me just get this out of the way. I'm a huge fan of what these three brothers are doing. I love the educational aspect of it. However, predicted performance is going to be way off the mark and is overly optimistic. So the UL power engine and this idea it's a modern engine and superior somehow to a Lycoming is really the biggest problem they're going to have. If you look at the Dark Arrow, it has a lot of similarities to other aircraft that have come before, and we'll discuss that. One thing that stuck out in my mind was they mentioned they built a Cozy before they started the Dark Arrow project. And the Cozy is a kit plane based on the Rutan canard pusher design. And you can purchase them used flying from 65000 to, let's say, 135000 and I found them. The Dark Arrow looks a lot like a Lance Air. Lance Niebauer in California was an architect and a designer, not really an aero guy, but he had an idea for an airplane and a really good eye. Interestingly enough, Lance based his design on the Myers 145 and the Myers 200, which were spectacular aircraft. They're fairly rare. The company still exists. Look them up. They, by today's standard, are still some of the most efficient, high-performance aircraft you can buy. I, I call them beach bonanza killers. As far as cost goes, you can look it up. I've built planes. I'm building a plane now. It's very expensive. This kit's very expensive. And you're pretty much locked into one very expensive engine from one supplier and one very expensive prop from one supplier both offshore. It's a very small airplane and it hasn't flown yet. As I said, yet to be proven. So before you start throwing money at it, you better make sure it's what you want. I made some tables of 11 popular kit aircraft that you can buy today. Pair cruise speed, range, fuel capacity, and estimated miles per gallon speed, as I've already alluded to, I'm suspect of that speed where it's as fast as a Glass Air 3 or a Lance Air Legacy with 300 or 350 horsepower range, which of course is related to fuel burn versus miles per hour. And of course, fuel capacity is one of the biggest factors of which they do have a lot of fuel, albeit at the cost of a very complex fuel system. They're basically comparing themselves to a low horsepower long easy, which is about as efficient as you possibly can get. And let's not forget they're comparing themselves to a Glass Air 3 or a Legacy, which win the sport class at the Reno Air Race. Oh, and they're doing this with a 320 cubic inch engine that only makes a real 170 horsepower at the proper prop RPM. I've been following kit airplanes and engines that are going to be the latest, greatest for 35 years. So suspect of claims that seem to be exaggerated. Remember, all the kit planes that claim to be the latest, greatest that either never flew, did fly a prototype, maybe came to market and faded away quickly because of issues, and very few became successful. And as far as engines being the next Lycoming killer, modern engine, I laugh when I hear that term, modern engine. I can't count how many engines have come and gone, and we'll get into that in just a bit. And these other planes, planes have been out for decades. Their performance is known. If you were to build one or buy one, you could be assured of getting very close to the published numbers. What I think is, let's wait and see. I would be very surprised if it's that fast, that efficient, matching the best of the best of every aircraft, since there's nothing drastically different about the design and the engine is a really poor choice, but more on that just in a little bit.